Hey, what's up everyone? It's Leo here again, and as you guys might have noticed, I'm not an English speaker, I'm from Brazil. But I'll try my best though to make another video on Rainbow Six Siege. Finally, we have all the details on the Dust Line DLC. Here we have the new map that will take place in a border control in the Middle East. It's gonna be a large map with a lot of destruction possibilities and a big cataway that will allow players to flank enemies. So now let's talk about the new operators, the Navy SEAL CTU, Valkyrie and Blackbeard. Ladies first, so she is a defender and she will have four deployable T cameras. Everyone on defense will be able to use it. As I have anticipated here, she will have an MPX submachine gun and a SPAS-12 shotgun as primary weapons. Her pistol is a Desert Eagle and she also has a deployable shield and a nitro cell medium speed and armor. I really enjoy the way she moves and you can throw and get the cameras back and you can throw it really far away and use it to look at new places, almost like a, a drone but you cannot move it. Uh, her gun looks fast but stable though, it doesn't seem to be super strong but if it's accurate and fast, I would be happy with it. I think Valkyrie has a potential to change the game with her ST cameras. It will be awesome for the game and force the teams to adapt to it. IQ from now on will be more useful because Valkyrie's camera are kind of discreet and I love Valkyrie. She's totally a team player. Now, by the other hand, we have Blackbeard. He's the attacker, his gadget is an armor rifle shield, he can use it on a SCAR H and the MK11. His secondary gun is also a Desert Eagle, he has a stun grenade and a breach charge, medium speed and armor. Uh, dude, uh, I like what I saw, but I'm just a little bit concerned about how powerful this guy could be. His gadget seems to be OP. You can equip your rifle at any time and take it off. I don't know if it's unbreakable or not, but if Blackbeard is repelling, for example, with an armor shield on, he's almost invincible, just a C4 to kill him. Imagine this guy behind a shield operator like Blitz or Montaigne. Dude, it will be scary. It's also a game changer, but I feel like he will be too strong. Very tactical though. I don't know if it's just an, uh, an impression that I had, but I realized that when Blackbeard has the rifle shoot on, he gets slower. But, but I don't know if he does indeed, or it was just uh, a thought that I had. His weapons are super strong. There is some recoil there, but nothing too crazy. And he also has a good mobility. And I bet that we will have Blackbeard in almost every map along with Thermite, for example. These new operators and the new map will come out on the next May 11th for the Season Pass holders. This upcoming patch will also bring a new ending screen and finally the new masks for all the operators. From now on, we're gonna be able to customize their faces. Some of them look really sick, I, I really enjoyed that, but honestly, it doesn't change the gameplay. It doesn't even change uh, much the characters at all. But this new patch, 3.0, will also fix a lot of bugs and glitches. Thank God! Well, that's it for today's video, guys. And I have an uh, important thing to say now. I will take 20 days off from May 20th to June. It's my vacation time. I'll be out of the country. I'm going to Japan. So I will have to slow down the volume of the posted videos here. Maybe one or two per week, but I, I have prepared a lot of uh, nice tutorials, good content that you will see here next week. So catch you later and bye amigos. Okay.